Welcome to the Smished Off Tour. We're gonna show you all of our favorite and most useful places. Here we are at the bus stop. It's called <laughs> Mustanga, and right in front of us is the main street of Svistov. Enjoy the tour! <laughs> Alright, so here's uh, Viva.com. It's where we get our phone plans when we arrive and we get a new SIM card. Uh, and if you want to go in and add data, you have to like buy it. <laughs> but if you have their app, then you don't need to go into the store except for that first time. <laughs> All right, and right next to Viva.com, we have coffee shop. <laughs> What's up guys, these little coffee machine stops are awesome. You have coffee machines where you have coffee, hot chocolate, espresso. Sometimes there's like little vending machines. It's a great place to go. And we have one so close to where we live. You can stop by any time of night or day, as long as electricity works in the side of town. Oh, right here is our friend from Zumba's bookstore. So if you need things printed and you want to go to a place from a person who we really love, you can go there. And right next to that is our favorite secondhand store. We love to go thrifting and find the good finds. <laughs> okay, so this thrift store, another reason we love it so much is because each week they get new shipments and so you gotta come back frequently because there's always new things to find. Now in Lily, it's um, a store with lots of toiletries and cosmetics and that type of stuff. Um, so it's got so many options actually, it's really great. So behind me is the Office One Superstore, which is perfect for all kinds of office supply things. One of the ladies that goes here also goes to Zumba. She's great. I love her. They have good prices, great quality things. If you don't go to Alex's place, you can come here. And on the other side of that street... This is the French. One of my favorite cafes to go to with friends. Back on the other side of the street, right next to that bookstore we went to, is the Teen Church. <laughs> Next to the community center is a little garden that you can walk through or frolic through. Yeah. Here we have Aleko. He's just the best guy ever, as you will come to know from your time here. He's legendary. And there's our friend Laura. So yeah, here we have a statue of him. And uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss of words because he's so incredible, so famous. And he's written so many books and just inspired national culture and uh, pride and no more words need to be said. So you have behind us the center. Usually these tents are not here and you're just seeing a fountain. But since it's September and the middle of September, a fair is coming to town, which means this place is filling up with tents. But this is the center, and when you meet up with people, oftentimes they say, let's meet at the fountain, which is behind those tents. And when you turn this way, there's a very important place called Rafi. 
Rafi has hands down the best ice cream basically anywhere. It's gelato and it's pretty incredible. <laughs> we just got our ice cream. I had a bit of an embarrassing moment with the lady who was serving it because I didn't have the right amount of coins, but it was okay because she was really nice. <laughs> And you'll see behind them is the post. post if you ever need a package, you go here, but you get it from Tim Autry and Lydia, Lydia Autry's mailbox. So you gotta ask them first if you can have the address and such. Yep, your mail comes here. My mail comes here. <laughs> If you get sick, Lydia Oshu will bring you here and help buy you medicine. It's gonna be okay. Also, there's a medicine vending machine. Check it out. Mmm. And then next to the apteka, there is the puppet. So there's another really like cafe slash restaurant place that we like to go to a lot. We'll go here with the teens or any of our friends. And Tim likes to have his meetings with you here. Um, so yeah, get ready to go here a lot. What's your favorite thing to order there? <laughs> um, I haven't ordered too much, but the frappes are pretty good. There is the trumpet. What's your favorite, Kelly? Um, food. I one time got this like vegetable soup. I don't really remember what was in it, but it was orange and it was delicious. And then I also always get a cappuccino. Started out because it was the same in Bulgarian as in English, so I would just say, cappuccino! <laughs> and then it turned out to be really good, so I keep getting it. Nice. <laughs> okay, so you will see in front of me on this side, this building, which is the Svistov Police Station. Once you get here, and if you don't already have a visa, Lydia Autry will take you here and you'll get registered with the police. If you have a visa, don't worry about it because you're already registered. And opposite there is this ATM. I like to go there because it gives one of the better exchange rates without the fees in town. Um, except make sure to take your money after it pushes it out because if you don't take it quick enough, it'll suck it back in, which is what happened to Kelly. But <laughs> It was okay because she eventually got a refund. All right, so behind me we have the Sunday market. Uh, it's quite empty right now, as you can see, but in just a few mere hours from now, it'll be Sunday and it will be bustling with activity. Uh, it's a great place to go for like fruits and vegetables, honey, jams, and delicious bakery items for breakfast. Right here is where I would meet Vanya every morning for church and we would walk together because when she lived here and I lived here previously, she lived down that street and I lived down this street so we would meet right there and walk together and it was a very happy time in our lives. Who's Vanya? Vanya is our wonderful Bulgarian friend. We call her Vanya she likes it so much better than Vanya. And right now she lives in London because she's doing a master's program in graphic design. This is the Catholic Church and where I used to live is right down these stairs. Now I'll show it to you. There's where I used to live when I lived here before. Are currently basically at the very end of Svistov. We're close to where the graveyard is and we will show you just quickly what the graveyard here looks like. Behind us you will see the graveyard and that's probably all we have to say about that. 
Don't forget to add how the graveyard is at the very edge of town, so that is a significant detail. So we got some beverages to refresh us on this warm September day, and now we're prepared to continue on to the rest of this beautiful town. Up here is restaurant Sushtaf. This is a beautiful restaurant, it has great food. It's one of the best places to get sacha at. Um, and upstairs is a museum where the owner has tons of just incredibly old, valuable artifacts. So if you come to visit, definitely stop by here. When my dad came to visit me, we had lunch with the authors here and Jonathan Postaway came by because he was going to drive him to the airport. So I have a memory of my dad there, which is sweet. This building is the Ethnographic Museum. It is very interesting. I've not been there in many years, so I don't really remember it, but there are very cool things inside. This is a beautiful old street and um, that beautiful blue building. I'm not sure if it still functions in this way, but previously it was a home for elderly people where they could spend their last days in a beautiful environment. And can you guess what's right in front of us? I don't hear any guesses. The Danube. Yes, but what else? <laughs> yes, but directly in front a of flag. us. No. Oh. <laughs> it's a Lego's uh. house. <laughs> Yes. Yes. And directly to the left of his house is this really interesting but also quite weird house. But that is besides the point. What is the point? Aleko's home. So when you go to the train or the bus station, you basically never go this way because it's out of the way. But since we're already here, we're going to take you to the train and bus station going on this path that we don't usually take, but then we'll come back out on the path that we more often take so you can know where to go. Hey, so this is the bus station where whenever you need to go somewhere in Bulgaria or if you go to Romania too, um, <laughs> then you'll just come here and wait for your bus and they'll drop you off here too. As you see pulling in here, there is the Alex OK bus and this is very interesting to us because it's not great, like it's not a great bus system and it's not a horrible, like super bad, it's just OK. That's why it's called Alex OK. So here's another view of the bus station. And now we're gonna head over to the train station. They are very close to each other, which is very convenient. This is our beloved train station. So many journeys have begun and ended here. We have come here so very many times. We have gone from here so very many times. These tracks could take you basically anywhere. There's the switch stop sign. You go inside to buy the tickets and your journey begins. Fun fact, if you're traveling with a group of three or more people, you get discounts. The bigger your group, the more you save. And Kelly's going to talk a little bit about her experience with hills. 
Yeah, so which way are we going? This way. Okay. <laughs> so Yippee. you get back to Svishtar from your long travels, whether it be train or bus. You probably have either a heavy backpack or a small suitcase or both. And the only way to get home is to walk up this hill or the other hill, which is steeper. Yeah, this one's steeper. Oh, this is steeper, <laughs> but shorter. Shorter. And the other one is longer, but still very steep, but not quite as steep. <laughs> <laughs> but some wise words that I learned from someone is that hills are invigorating. <laughs> so, <laughs> herself. <laughs> so, when you're tired and it's late, because you finally got back and you're like, I just want to be at home, got to get up this hill. Well, just remind yourself. This hill, I'm feeling invigorated. <laughs> it's a challenge I'm here to conquer. <laughs> and then you'll find yourself at the top in no time. Yep, just like us. Just like us. <laughs> so we're almost to the top, but I want to show you quickly that over here is the fairgrounds. Every September around this time, the fair comes to town and it's exciting. They start on Thursday, um, but they're setting up now. We're almost at our favorite part of the sushi stop, but we gotta pause because our friend Katya's here and so we gotta go pick her up. She's gonna go stop in the stop near Bila, hopefully. And we're going to go get her and continue the cool places tomorrow or sometime soon. Yes. So, bye from these friggin' brown school sisters. Ciao. Hey everybody, welcome to the Svishtoff tour. <laughs> Is that it? Right, so this thrift shop is an extra note. I don't want to walk too close to the camera. Can we start that? So, Extra bonus. <laughs> oh, okay. So. All right. So we are we are basically at our favorite part of Swish Town. <laughs> so we're almost at my favorite, our favorite 